Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, today we are gonna discuss how to defend apartments properly, again this is from my point of view, this is what I like to do as team leader uh, in game, but before starting the video I want to make a small announcement, uh, we divided group are recruiting people, it doesn't matter what level you are, we just want to expand our group, if you want to play with some friends, if you want to learn the game better and maybe in the future play competitive matches with us, you are more than welcome visit our website or discord and sign up see you let's start the video bye bye okay let's start this uh, i'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible i know people hate watching long videos so first thing let's get the terminology right this is the sniper house this thing right here this is the small sniper house or however you want to call it this is alpha left side or alpha fixed mg as we call it alpha basement alpha windows um bravo right side and charlie basement bravo right side charlie basement and then we move back and we have this building right here where the tank is this whole building we call it delta 5 building or uh, like general sir anthony calls it sneaky and then we have the whole delta delta front side it's here delta back side is in that small building there so there are a couple of ways of defending this and each uh, team leader or each player has its own ways i'm gonna tell you mine why i think it's good it's a general stuff but yeah let me grab a roll here img so the thing is um, the thing is how you initially put the squad leaders I usually tell SL1 and SL3 to defend Alpha SL2, SL4, Bravo SL4 should stay in the Charlie basement And keep spawning people there SL2 should stay up there in Bravo right side And on the Alpha spot we need the bigger squad We need SL1 in the fixed MG room And SL3 in the Alpha basement That way you can keep pushing all the time uh, one thing I saw people do in public uh, is squad leaders going in this building. The problem is you spawn there and usually the, the people uh, start to camp the windows and they get shot by the sniper house enemy. They don't have time to set up and if they want to push they have to go all the fucking way down on the stairs and just get to the windows and get shot immediately and stuff like that. It's just, it's just pointless. Apartments has this uh, big difference in tickets, so you need to you need to camp. A, a lot of players play apartments like it's Call of Duty or something, and they just rush and rush and rush and try to make as many kills as possible. But it's not like that. You need to play defensive. You need to wait for the enemy. And if everyone should, if everyone would do this, it would be easier to defend apartments. Now, as an MG, best way is to uh, camp this wall, this side, and this side. Now the problem is a lot of players uh, started to understand the MG spot and they are throwing underhand grenades and usually what I do is stay more uh, near this bush over here and you also get some some sort of protection from this uh, thing here so they can shoot you but you can shoot them when they get here or if they run brrr, just shoot them there. If they come out of there, you can shoot them here, it's no problem, it's really easy. And again, the same on the other side, don't stay close to these uh, crates here, stay somewhere like here, or I don't know, and try to defend like this. You see enemies going there, and anyone who crosses the uh, bridge. Of course, at the beginning of the map, uh, run towards, throw your nades on the bridge, and so on. But whenever you come back, whenever you come back, Usually there are idiots who camp 
behind the wall like here near the boxes an easy way to remember it is from this uh, electricity pole or what's the name you count one and two like this area is one this area is two and you throw an underhand grenade here like this and it will always land perfectly there um, yes yeah, so MG stay here uh, and people just generally camp another good spot of course all of you know it is the MG here in case they get some terrain and try to run towards the basement the MG can easily shoot them also uh, just as a side note if there is one MG camping in this spot and you have a hard time killing it the most easiest way is just go here and throw an, an aid there like that oh oh what happened there I got sold. <laughs> that would uh, result in a lot of team kills so again you throw it there and it will always land on the stairs near the engine oh not this one fuck I'm failing a lot yeah that's the one you need to throw it at an angle see it, uh, and the MG doesn't have time to run it's really good but this is for attacking side so again you camp this area people just kill them and so on but eventually you're gonna lose alpha now the best thing to do is to just um, organize everyone and defend two areas delta front side and delta sneaky that will um, there will be players who will constantly keep pushing alpha that's not a problem but you don't want to tell them to do that you you want your squads to be defensive you want sl1 to stay here and keep spawning people on the top floor here and it's a good spot to kill them when they run to charlie and sl4 uh, uh, sorry sl3 somewhere here bottom so SL1, SL3, and then SL2 and SL4 in the sneaky house to control the, the right flank. It's really, really important to take control of this building. If they flank you from behind, you are fucked. It's over for you because you can't run from the spawn back to the front side of Alpha anymore. So, yeah, control this building. Really, really important. Again, the whole strategy is to defend only one cap zone and not split the team between Charlie and Delta. Now another thing which we do in uh, Divided in is to take control of this building defensively. Uh, there are people who just go to the windows, this is their spawn and try to set up the MG here and shoot as many as they can but they die. So what we do is have one guy, we call this the left bedroom, and controls this area. So imagine you have control of this side, this side, this side, and when they get through the door, you can see all of this from the left bedroom. Then we have another guy here in the right bedroom, controlling that area, in case someone comes from that window, and to support this guy. And we have another guy uh, here control the door uh, basically in three people you can defend the whole alpha building after you lost it um, yeah another good spot uh, let me show you quickly one minute 40 seconds which I like to use after you lose Charlie and everything is right here and just stay something like this you have control of that side you have control of the people pushing sneaky uh, it's a really good spot to get a lot of kills and it's hard for them to kill you also you can see some of that thing. and if you if you hear enemies coming behind you just go here and throw an enemy or get your pistol out kill them so on so that's how we usually do it uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Of course, all you need is really, really good squad leaders to go to the assigned places and stay alive as long as possible. I think that's the most important thing in defending apartments, having good squad leaders and good MGs. The rest doesn't matter that much 
because I mean you you will get kills, but it's important to stay defensive and not lose. It's not worth it to kill two enemies You're and you here. die, or one Don't enemy and you die deserter. over and over again. It's important to just stay defensive and get as many kills as you can from a defensive positions without losing too many tickets. Really, really important. So yeah, I hope you liked this and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.